thank you very much. Um, as an architect, I should say that I like to show rather than talk. So um, this presentation is divided to the two parts. First part is the about the vis visual visual visualize visualizing history, the visualize uh, visual uh, <laughs> visualizing uh, nation history. Then the second part is visualizing the personal history. Okay. Okay, let's go through this. I mean, history is the information that's coming from the past. How? Uh, at the beginning, it was like this. The man in the cave wrote something. It's a hieroglyph. Then, uh, alphabet pop up, and the historians start to writing something. And there's an important thing that the king came and say, okay, may I see? Okay, you should, you should change this part. This part is not good enough. So th this, ki this king factor is really important. You will see. Then um, after the text, the type. Then after the type, I mean the negative, that you can capture everything with the light. Oh, it's interesting. Then 25 frame in a second, like. And after all this, they were able to bring all this information to your personal life to your home with the television. Then after all this, the, there's a word that comes to our reality, digitalize. Okay, the, the photographer where was taking shot like, now it's after this, it's able to like this. Or everything changed, you are able to take the picture, upload, and that. So. You are receiver, and you are under attack of a lots of information. This is true, and there is a king factor because all these news agencies they give you lots of information, but when you're looking to the CNN on a TV, then you're changing to your channels and you're looking the same news in a let's say Al Jazeera. You see, there's the content is something different. Okay, that's, that's the king factor. Somebody is there. Anyhow, I'm not, I don't want to judge about the, what they are doing, but there's a, lots of information every day coming to us, and we are in the middle of that, and we don't have a time to go through of that. So we build a model. It's a very simple three-dimensional model where Z is time, X and Y are environment, Unit is a person or group of the people, and the vertical connections are the historical or genetic codes that it's. And we put uh, Armenian national history inside this system, and you, you're, you will be able to see that how we generate that. This is the generation. It starts from the two, three millennium before Christ. And this is the world map. The three blue points are the lakes to understand where is the location. Urumia Lake, Wana Lake, and the Sevan. Uh, you are going to the critical time periods. Uh, Urartu, Tigran Met, Christianity, Alphabet, and Ani, Cilicia. So this is, uh, we are coming, I mean, after genocides, they are coming to the nowadays. This is our reality. This is how our history transformed in the middle of the critical uh, time period. So it's kind of complicated. Let's analyze this. This is a, we analyze this model with a infor, I mean, important component. One of the important components is culture. You can see the culture tree. And you can see how after genocide or uh, it's like bang, the every 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 node, every person or group of people they go around the world. Or here is the language. It starts from uh, fourth century, and again, you are able to see how it scattered all around the world. Uh, then this is religion. Uh, this is politic. We don't have a lots of 
I mean, information about that. So. <laughs> And this is the funniest part. This is our borders. This is the tra transforming of our borders through the time. And I was in Harvard. I showed these guys, OK, this is the evolution of our borders through the time. And these guys looked to me and say, ask, dude, this is evolution? Uh, OK, but <laughs> it's a kind of, I don't know what's the word right for that. It's <laughs> that the island there is a Cilicia, just for your information. So. This is the three-dimensional diagram. You can turn it, you can look at it, you can zoom in, zoom out. But there is a question, okay, where am I as a person? What am I doing? What I did in these last 10 years? What's my role in a, my nation history? So, this is your daily Activities. You are going from home to the office, to office to the lunch, and again back to the office, and from office somewhere out for drink coffee or chatting with the friends, and you're again coming back to the home. How I find, I mean, how we, how we are able to build this? You have a spy in your packet. The smartphone can follow you anywhere, by the Google map, GPRS, or uh, I don't know, kind of software. So the data are, I mean, they're available to transfer to the software and it can follow you. And in each of these nodes, you're able to take a picture or move, a, I mean, take a shot and you can add to the, these points. Or even you are not supposed to do that because your friend or somebody will do that and it will share in a social networking site and the information can be and sit in exact exact place. So after this, we are adding a time factor to this Z. Look, again, underneath is the yesterday. We are today. From home, we are going to the office. We are staying three hours. Then we are going to the lunch. We are going again to the coming back to the office. Then from office to the somewhere. And again, I mean, at, I mean, we're coming back to the home. So. This is a three-dimensional module or the diagram of our daily activities. So when we have this, uh, again, we're able to add uh, information, movies, or something to all these parts that we are, I mean, it's kind of static. So after th this, you are able to create your weekly diagram, which shows that your activity, where you're going, what's the information you are receiving from everywhere. And after weekly, you're able to build your monthly one, the yearly one, I don't know. So when, why not? I can, I mean, instead of passing my business card to the person, I can pass this information to the person and I say, okay, go and look at it. This is my this is what I am, and this is the kind of activity that I'm, I did I mean, in the last year. So, but when we are looking to this, it looks like that we are all alone in this space. Where are the others? It's all these blue lines are the others. All these blue lines are the kind of the social activity that you are doing during the week. I mean, the TED. TEDx event is one of these bubbles. And this bubble is the same bubble which you, can, you are able to see in the, in the biggest diagram that I've shown you and, and I will show you. So with these bubbles, you are able to trace your roots that, OK, how much I will be, uh, be I mean, in a political uh, life, or what's my rule in a cultural life, or uh, in a religion life. So all these techniques, they give you a chance to trace yourself. And you are able to build your own history. And you are able to compare your history with the na nation history. And when we build all these as a nation and the neighbors build another ones, we are able to look what we did as a person in a global history. After this, I want to 
show you again this model. All these nodes are, I mean, one of us or our parents or grandfather in the past. So in this galaxy of the history, each of you are a sun, and the light created by your own will always travel in a time and a space. Thank you very much. <laughs>